stay out of screen because when we chop this up we'll yeah, no put the questions on the screen to read and then you want to hear the no uh, but um, it's just still on our website for a bit of promotion so. yeah of course that's my um, Righty, uh, okay um, so it's Mark right? Yeah. Mark. yeah so Mark how did you feel when uh, when you were told that you're being entered for these awards uh, I, was, I was quite excited about it because um, it's something that uh, you know, you, you sort of hear a lot of people that do it and things like that. So for me personally, it was interesting to find out how the customers sort of saw me and thought of me. Because I'll be brutally honest, I've never really thought I was that good. Um, but with some of the feedback that I got, really sort of like lifts your spirits and makes you look forward to the next call and the next call and things like that. So, And the majority of customers are really understanding. They're like, yeah, that's, that's no problem at all. Because I know, especially at home, if you get someone that says, oh, can you do a survey? You're a bit like, oh. Do you know what I mean? But but these 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 customers are absolutely fine because you explain that you know it only takes thirty seconds to do, and they're more than happy to do it for you. So it's really good, really good, and exciting. Um, what have you learned uh, from taking part in this? <coughs> uh, I've learned that if you if you have a bad call, it it's not as bad sometimes as you think it might be. Um, like I remember, for example, some of them when we was doing the custom voice awards. Um, I'd finished the call and I'd be like, oh, that, that was terrible. But then because the, the, like the results are pretty instantaneous and you get them straight away, you look at it and you think, oh, actually, it couldn't have been that bad a call because they've scored me 30 or something like that, do you know what I mean? So, no, it's, it's definitely one of the things that, you know, it sort of taught me that, you know, sometimes calls aren't as bad as you think. So you had more of a fear that it would be bad than the reality. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so as I say, I mean, with, with, with a lot of the calls, you know, you be confident, friendly, things like that, all, all the things you're taught to do. Um, but then sometimes, you know, if, if they ask you something and you maybe take a little bit longer than you want to, you think, oh, they could score me down, but then, you know, yeah. a lot of people were really quite good in that respect, so. Right. Uh, what was the atmosphere and spirit like um, with the team, you know, while you were taking part in the, in, in the competition? Um, I, well, I, I actually think that the, the customer voice was actually sort of help to build team morale because you would get people, you'd finish a call, and then your school would come back and you'd go, oh, I got this, this and that. And then someone else would go, oh, I've, I've just got this, this and that. So it gets all the team talking and, and things like that. And even more so when, when the customers leave like a voice message for you and you listen to it and then you've got other people that say, oh, let's have a listen, what did they say and things like that. So I think, I think it really built like team morale and team spirit in terms of everyone communicating with each other and, um, you know what score did you get? Oh, I got this, 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 and that. And you know it also helped everyone like help each other out. So if someone maybe got a few less marks on something that someone else got more on, then you could say to them, "Oh, well, you know, I do this. If you want to try that, then." So it's certainly helped with communication. I think definitely. that's fantastic. Great. Okay. Um, how do you feel on those occasions when the customer would give you negative feedback? Initially, I was a bit like, oh, like, it was really frustrating. But then when you sort of break down the feedback into like what elements they marked you down on, it sort of, because over, say for example, in like a 10 call period, if you was consistently getting like, say below average scores for a certain you know, element, then you know that's something that you need to improve on. So then that's something that, you know, like myself or any of, any of my colleagues could go to Daniel Ryan and say to them, you know, I keep getting sort of average marks on this, can I have a bit of training, things like that, and they'll give us more training to help us boost it. But, um, but yeah. So it helps you provide a bit of focus then? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And also, again, like as I say earlier as well, it, it makes you sort of appreciate the things that you're good at. And for, for a lot of people in the team, like being friendly and things like that just come naturally. Um, so for example, with like the friendliness element, the majority of people were getting 10 out of 10s because, you know, it is a friendly bunch, so. Yeah, great. Okay, um, and when you get positive feedback, I mean, you've already touched on it. Yeah. What was kind of your feeling inside when you see your name appearing on the leaderboard and you get five stars? And you, feel, you feel proud. Because yeah. um, the other thing that I liked about the Customer Voice Awards as well is if you've got a five-star call, then that stays there until someone else gets a five-star call. 
So it brings in like the sort of friendly competition element where someone will go, you know, just knock them off the perch, yeah. we'll get a five star call and things like that. So it, it certainly makes you feel proud, I think, and certainly makes, you know, sort of um, like a real sort of sense of achievement when you get a five star call because you think, oh, you know, you've made the booking process for someone, or even if it's just an inquiry, you've made it so easy for them whilst having a friendly conversation that uh, they've given you a good score, so that makes you feel good in yourself, in your job role. Brilliant. Um, and what do you think about cherry blasting, which is you know the method that we use to yeah. make sure no one can cheat? Yeah. Um, or if they do, they get found out. I, I, I'm all for it. I, I think that's good, because I'd, I'd imagine that, you know, quite a few people, like in general, would be like, oh well, that was a bad call, you know, the customer went off in a bad mood, I'm not gonna put them through because it bring my marks down. So I can imagine quite a few people would be like that. Um, but I do think that, um, I do think that it makes makes it a lot easier um, for like fair competition. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, that's, uh, yeah, I've got one last question. Yeah, no problem. Next year. Are you up for doing it all again and trying to defend your? Power? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, as I say, with with what we was doing, it was it was something that you know initially everyone was really excited about, and by the end of it, it was something that everybody was really like everyone felt they'd accomplished something. Um, because as I say, most people would sort of feel, you know, okay, we've done this. I know I'm good at that. I need to improve on this. I need to improve on that. So everyone learned something. Um, but yeah, next year I'd, I'd love to do it again, and then that way I can compare how I do next year to how I've done this year, and then hopefully do just as well, if not better. Great. Thanks very much. No problem at all. Fantastic. Thank you very much. No problem at all. I'll make sure you got your trophy. Thank you guys. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, no all right. Do you want me to take Ian's phone back? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just turn that.